Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Laura, and today this is part two of my big crafty haul. Um, lastly, I have Dollar Tree, um, Amazon, and AliExpress. Amazon and Ali are mostly dyes. Um, so I'll jump into Dollar Tree first. Some of these things in this haul <laughs> were um, influenced, or at least I saw them, through Sharon over at From Cheap to Chic. So she had shown this mini vacuum cleaner. How stinking adorable is this? She did say that it, it works fairly well. Um, the only drawback is that the cord is quite, well, it's not like super long. So I guess like if you hooked it up to your computer that's on your desk, that shouldn't be too bad. But she said it worked really, really well. And it even has like, I don't know if you can tell, like a little filter inside. So I got the pink. They only had two, so I grabbed both. Um, one for either my two crafting spaces or I'll send one in the happy mail. Um, I did find let me see, these in the makeup section. So these are um, makeup blender brushes, but I've seen similar ones on I don't know, probably scrapbook.com. They're called pouncers. So, I mean, anything with a sponge you can use for inking and blending and stuff like that. So, I got these two. They were the only ones that they had. And I, for some reason, can never find binder rings <laughs> at Dollar Tree. So, with the back to school stuff, they had a bunch of them. And they had these two sizes. So, I mean, I would prefer colored ones, but I don't have any at all that are metal. So I went ahead and snagged those. This, I, let me see. Some of the stuff I've had for a while. Um, but they had this fun table runner that is, let me see, is a spider web and then it has little spiders on it but with a scalloped edge. I don't know that I'll use it for a table runner, but I thought with the lacy type element, I could make some sort of like junk journal with it or use it for some sort of like goth project or even send some in like happy mail to someone who does projects like that. I did get a bunch of stickers. Um, super into hot air balloons lately, so I thought this was fun and I had to grab that. There's also, let me see, the rub-ons. I've seen these before. I don't think I'd picked them up before, but I had to get them this time. <laughs> and I thought this was fun, kind of retro vibes. Um, I do have some cassette charms, so I don't know, maybe I can make a project with this. I also have a record die that I found when I was cleaning up, so that would be fun too. Um, and then I have some Halloween ones. You've probably seen these already. So I did get these Halloween stickers. These are foiled. They're not puffy, but some of the outlines and some of the like elements are raised. So that was interesting. I like this little rat here with his like mummy costume. This one's so cute. I should have gotten two of these. Um, and then this one here too with the holographic like pinkish purple background. Love that. And then I got the two kinds of the squishy stickers that they had. So these are definitely puffy stickers, but they are more like foam. I thought that was super interesting. And these are great for bigger embellishments. Like this one here is massive. This one's probably like four by four. But yeah, I thought that was fun. I did get two of these. Um, if I don't use one for a project, I'll share it with Happy Mail. And then these glittered bones. They're not very like super sturdy, but um, yeah, I mean, they're cute. I did find in their Crafter Square the stretch lace, but in these like um, neutral colors. I don't have these, I don't believe, but it's always nice to have those on hand. Um, I did see Leanna over at It's a Deal haul these a while back. These are badge holders. 
but she said that you could probably use them as shakers and I think I've seen her use them as shakers before so not bad I mean you get five of them um, for $1.25 and you've got a half made shaker already I did find some of their foam flowers I didn't get any last year last year they only had in my store the paper ones but they were all like really badly shapen and then not really crafty maybe kind of crafty <laughs> I got these parchment squares I'm gonna try to use uh, or I'm gonna try and stamp on these I don't know if it's gonna smudge but I have an idea that I wanted to try out um, and it's always nice I don't know if you buy parchment paper um, if you can buy it flat that's great because when it's gonna roll it it's always gonna roll back up um, it, it's just a struggle <laughs> so I got this um, and that was my last thing from Dollar Tree uh, from Amazon I found this die set well actually I saw this in a reel I think that popped up in my feed it's a KS craft coffin shaker so I had to look for it um, and I found it on Amazon so you get these three pieces here I'm not exactly sure how they go together I think these are two different sizes let me see yeah I don't know if this layers on that I don't think it does or it might but you definitely have the layering piece here you've got the outline and the stitched does this match that I think it does well that's always nice so you don't have to keep placing your other piece on there and then this is attached to it so it says treat so you can't remove that you can separate these two and then this one says trick and then you have this little I don't even know what you would call it maybe like a bale um, so if you wanted to put it on um, one of those punch a hole or actually it has a hole that punches out and you've got some sort of like or you could put like a dangle on it so that's that looking forward to using that in my swap this I saw from Carrie's crafts this is also KS craft let me see is it oh my gosh I can't even read this oh yeah it is <laughs> uh, yeah this is KS craft this is actually very tiny so it's a bow set but you've got tiny little shaker here that you can make and I mean tiny this is um, like not even an inch and a half wide so still super cute I mean at the very least you're not going to be using a ton of sequence mixes um, you've got your layering spider web here tiny spider the bow pieces and then like the wings part and your cinching part in the middle so cute I'm gonna love playing with that and smaller things like that you can make a ton right okay then lastly I have from Aliexpress this item also I found through Sharon over at from Cheek to Chic. she had used some of this on I think a box that she made me how neat is that and they had tons of colors so I think I just got the gold it's different sizes this is so nice to have as an accent and it was so cheap I think it was like a dollar um, and then let me clear this off and I'll show you the rest Okay, I'm freehand recording this because I forgot to put this in the original video. Um, so this was the other item I got from Allie, also influenced by Sharon from Cheap to Chic. So this is a set of bow dies, and I love how many sizes and types it gives you. Um, you can't, you don't always have time to make a 3D bow. And these are super cute. She had these on. I believe this one this one and this one on a project she sent me um, but there's so many to choose from this is fairly inexpensive 
And if you can tell this one, this one, and that one, they're the same, just different sizes. So that was super cute. You can find different ways to layer them. But yeah, that was the other item. Okay, so this is the entire KS Craft August release. I was thinking about it and thinking about it, and I just, I, I couldn't help myself. I had to get it. This one is so fun. It's got a lot of Christmas, and it has some, um, like, school stuff so i figured for what i would pay for individually it it just made sense to get the whole set plus i got a 12 dollar off coupon the day that i bought it on alley so it worked out okay so let me open these so i can show you the difference the different sets i love plate dies when it's like flowers and like lots of little things like that, everything needs to come in plate dies. <laughs> I don't know who I need to petition to do that, but how cute. So I love these flowers. These are just simple pointy flowers, or they can even be maybe like um, leaf backgrounds. But yeah, you get all these sizes and multiples of those. And then you have your, I think these are poinsettias. But yeah, so pretty. And then we've got this set here. This is super tiny, guys. I think this actually goes with another set. I don't know. When I get to it, I'll get to it. So there is a set in here that makes like a 3D um, Christmas tree. So it's a bunch of like just round they look like flowers like I said it might even be that um, things that you just stack and then you make a little scene with these tiny Christmas or present boxes so I don't know if I'll have the patience to do this <laughs> but it's cute and we shall see but yeah how cute is that so tiny little boxes with the um, like ribbon trim um, this has tiny itty bitty gingy and heart shaped leaves bows oh i like that that's super cute yes this one is the layered christmas tree and so you've got your bottom piece i think some of these you have to cut out several times maybe i don't know i could be wrong um, have your star. I think that might be your very top piece. So like all these layer up to make like a 3D one. And I'm guessing that these, I don't even know. I'll have to look at a tutorial to figure out exactly how to put it together. But I like this one too. So you've got like a doily type um, and then the layering stitched piece in the middle. And this doily is a really nice size with the um, holes being a good size too. They look like they should just fall out. Um, I really, really, really despise having to poke out a bunch of little holes. So there's that. So this is a bow die, but it's a pencil. So you can see like this is the, the white part that goes, let's see. Oh, I'd have to take it off. But if you can imagine, like, that's that size, right? So, like, when you, you know, sharpen the pencil and you see the exposed part, um, and then there's got to be an eraser. Oh, so here's the black part, so the, the lead. And then I believe this is the eraser part, or it might even be the silver part. I'm not exactly sure, but oh, I thought that was so cute. You know I love making teacher gifts and teacher projects. I didn't get time to sign up for the craft fair this year, but there's always next year. Okay, and then we've got this cute little gingy with all of the pieces. You've even got like layering pieces too. And oh my gosh, there's so much in here. These are all like the different faces you can make. So you've got some with eyelashes, some without. I think those are glasses. I could be wrong though. How adorable. And I think there's a larger one in here too. 
and then we've got these are two different sizes I mean it's not a big difference in size but these look like um, candy cane ornaments because of the little um, kind of bale here super cute I like that and that's one of the reasons I got the whole set was so that I could get the multiple sizes of stuff so this one says candy cane wishes this one says Santa's helper and we have cookie taster <laughs> cute um, mistletoe kisses oh wait this one's peppermint wishes did I say kisses oh can oh my gosh candy cane wishes good lord and then this one is merry and bright so yeah these are gonna come in handy I don't have any Christmas words okay here we go so again it's a multiple sizes of the reindeer bows so cute. I love the layering pieces. That's what really sets a bunch of dies apart. You've got some eyelashes here too. Is when they give you like the extras so you're not having to fussy cut anything, having to search your stash for other things that could match. Everything is perfectly matched and perfectly shaped. Okay. So these are the two sizes of, I believe, bag toppers. And they have the little gingy. So nice little layering piece. And again, love that. You've got the two here, so you could even make a shaker if you wanted to. So that's the large one. That's the small one. And I really like how it has the opening there. So if you did make things to sell that you're putting on like a sales rack that's already made for you. I might have to look this up. Is this a pencil or a nail file thingy? It might be. I'll put it on the screen here. But I like that. It's got the little collar, a little ruffle at the bottom. And I think this is Mrs. Claus because it looks like a belt, right? A belt buckle. So yeah, I'll put that on there. I think it's a nail file holder. Okay, oh, I don't even remember this. This is a super cute Santa. This is really big. You've got all the layering pieces too, with his clothes and mittens, and like the white kind of fluffy part to his outfit. This is super cute. So you've got and I've never gotten any of their stamps. Um, so you've got this gingerbread shaped stamp, but it's like a cooling rack. And then all the letters that look like cookies, like decorated cookies with sprinkles. So super cute. And then you've got all the dies for them. So you don't have to fussy cut any of these. Fun, I, I love that so much. I think this is just a bunch of like little extras. I love this light bulb strand and the peppermint another bit of light bulbs i think that goes around something here no i don't know it looks like a sign i've got some muffins with the topping cute little whimsical tree oh i love that bow super cute tiny tiny little um candy cane Tiny Christmas tree, little gingies again. This set comes with so much, I don't even remember this. Awesome. Okay, and you've got your bag topper. So this one is Holiday Magic. And that's a nice size. I've seen people do this one and it's coming out really nice. So, cool. Okay, here's another cool one. This one was so cute I couldn't pass it up so this is like a really large calculator I think it's meant to be like a mini album but you can make a box out of it and it comes with okay so the glasses right and the bow but then also you can put the eyes on there here's the numbers and the symbols to layer on here 
so much fun. Oh my gosh, this is going to be one of those big projects. I'm also thinking of making some um, notebooks and decorating with that. Okay, so got this massive gingy. I wonder if this one's a shaker or if it's just layered. I mean, you can make anything into a shaker, right? I don't know. Maybe not. But yeah, this one is massive. This one is four inches wide, six inches tall. Like, massive. <laughs> this one, I believe, also is a mini album. Now, to make them into a mini album, you need the um, binder piece that I think it sold separately or it sold with another set but these you can even use on their own I love this massive snowflake this by itself is amazing but look at this look at this you have three layers of this snowflake this one's huge too this one is six by six huge this one, oh this one's a box I believe this one's a crayon box. Oh no, it's, um, it looks like a huge pencil. I will say though, this one feels, this one feels a bit flimsier than the other dies. But, you see that? So it almost looks like a house, but that's the pencil in the back. This is a scallop front. And then these are um, the sides and the bottom, I believe. And then you've got your layering pieces. So this one says, thanks. Um, teacher. Uh, this one says, thank you, teacher. Okay, cute. Love that. And then I really wanted this one. I sworn that there was a smaller one of this too. I'll have to look. I'll let you know. I'll put it on the screen. Um, so this is a rosette. You probably have to cut it out maybe three times. But look at the little gingies in the back. How fun! And this is the type of rosette I can get behind because these can pop out easily. That's one thing I've learned. I need to be more selective with the dyes that I get because some of them may be gorgeous but I'll never use it because I don't want to deal with it. Okay, I'm trying to remember what this is. I think this is another pocket. Let me see. So this definitely has like a window. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen again. What does this say? Gift. It's a nice little word there too got your scallop edge there and then this actually looks like a small rosette die or it could just be an edge die super cute see oh wait I missed this one too this is a huge piece I wonder yeah it had to have gone with that right because it matches this anyway hope you liked this two-part haul this is a lot of stuff that I'm going to get to play with, but I got to get through my Halloween crafting and then finish up a few other challenges that I am um, hoping to participate in. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you found some things that you might want to add to your collection. Um, and you all let me know what is your favorite and what you all have been up to. All right, everyone. I hope you're having a crafty day. Take care. Bye-bye.